ladies and gentlemen, with her new book, Worthy, it is Jada Pinkett Smith. to cover. I read everything. Every single word. This entire book is so annotated. It's insane. Thank you. Okay. Hard to know where to begin. Okay. I'm obsessed with how you grew up. I feel like I have a lot in common with you. Yeah. I'm dying to get into that stuff. Do you want to start backwards or forwards? <laughs> well, we can start. It's up to you. We can start either way. We can start backwards or forwards, right? I am, um, you know, I'm just happy that I'm able to have my story in a book. I know that, you know, over the years, many people have thought many different things. And of course, the last past four or five years, you know, there's been a lot of different stories about a lot of different things. So I'm just really happy to just have the opportunity to just tell my story, you know, with my words and have it on paper. If you were to get pull quotes mm -hmm. and you could design them out there, what would yours say? Well, the first one would probably say, um, everybody should be responsible for their own actions. No one should be blamed for what someone else does, right? And so um, I would also say that you never know someone just by a public persona. You know, those would be the quotes that I would have out there, right? Um, but, you know, our media is what it is, and you know all about that. Right? Yeah, so, but it's okay. I've been on the gynecological table of life <laughs> since birth. I know you have. My bro. whole life. I know you have. I know you have. But, so, you know, it's, it's, it's part of our industry, you know, and so it comes with the territory. And, and there's a lot of learning there as well. I mean, I'm really grateful for the opportunity to heal my own sense of self-judgment because at the end of the day, when you have all of this judgment about you, it really makes you have to look at yourself and cure your own self-judgment because when you feel good about yourself and you know who you are, it doesn't matter. Okay, right? the way that you write about the incident at the Oscars, the infamous slap, you talk about how in a weird way, you let men deal with Will and women came to your side. And the thing that you talked about, there is a, a Carl Jung, Jung, Jung. Um, philosophy about every single person here has a story and a fully realized self or a self they're trying to fully realize. You also have what's called a shadow mm -hmm. in this philosophy. It's the person inside that we are born with and will live alongside of us our whole lives that we are trying to master that relationship and take care of them because they are us. And so you talked about that you realized in that moment that he had not healed his shadow. And I had known that just because in me dealing with my own, I had been dealing with my own since I came across a really fierce shadow. I talk about it in the book at 40 when I was really suicidal. And um, I really came across my shadow in a, in, a, in a really intense way of having to deal with those, self, those thoughts of self-hatred and really having to um, grapple with that.